Hi everyone, welcome to Wine Theory. My name is Sebastian Crowther and welcome to the Master Pack for April. This of course is the first video for the Master Pack that I've created, so I'm really excited to be here today presenting to you the wines that I've selected for you. Uh, these videos serve to give you a little bit more depth of information into the wines that I've selected. Inside each of the packs, you will find a small brochure which gives you a brief introduction to those wines and some reasoning behind them. But this just gives you a little bit more depth and some more uh, interesting points. So I hope you enjoy. And without further ado, I'm gonna jump straight in and talk about the first two wines that I've selected. So to start, we have the Frederick Savart Champagne La Overture Non Vintage. This is a champagne producer who I import exclusively to Australia and he's one of the most exciting young producers in the champagne region at the moment. In America, he's got a huge reputation and his reputation in Australia is growing day by day. This La Overture Cuvée is made from 100% Pinot Noir. So it's a Blanc de Noir style, which makes for a slightly more richer, full-bodied and expressive style of champagne than some other styles that are in the champagne region. He's based in a small village called Ekoi, and the fruit for this champagne comes exclusively from this village. It's a village that's located in the Montagne de Reims, or Reims, just near the city of Reims itself. And they call his little sub area the Petit Montagne de Reims. And it's not uh, an official sub area, but it's um, a name which is getting used more and more with small growers which are located within this area. And it really sits just between Rams and Epinay as you drive that road between the two famous villages. The thing I love about this champagne is that. He gets ripeness in his fruit, so you always see these lovely cherry and stone fruit, plum-like characteristics in the fruit profile, but the wines always retain this really lovely, vibrant acidity. So it's great to drink by itself, but I would also recommend having this with food. Uh, things like um, duck, uh, things like lamb, it can really stand up some, to some more robust characteristics, uh, and so I hope you enjoy that one. Next, we move slightly closer to home, uh, and this is from a producer called Meadowbank. Meadowbank's located in Tasmania and in the Derwent Valley. It's a wine region not too far from Hobart itself, and for a long time, although established in the mid-1970s, used to fly under the radar. I think it's with the introduction of a new, let's say, rock star winemaker, a guy called Peter Dredge, who's brought a lot more attention to this winery. And he started to do some really special things. So it's a 30 year old vineyard, which is located just on the winery's footsteps. He treats this wine in a modern way. So this isn't Chardonnay like we saw in yesteryear, going back 10, 15 or 20 years. This isn't a rich, full-bodied style of Chardonnay. This is in fact a Chardonnay that I would say is true to trend. It has a real raciness to it. He picks the grapes a little bit earlier so there's more acidity in them. He doesn't age it in quite as much new oak, so there's a freshness and a vibrancy to it. And he handles the grapes without fining or filtration, which adds a little bit more concentration and complexity into the wines too. It's uh, a really wonderful wine. Great with roast chicken um, and certainly something that's uh, good to serve outside of room temperature. Chardonnay is definitely something that benefits of being closer to serving temperature of say Pinot Noir. So let's say just underneath room temperature. These wines uh, show off all of their textural characteristics as well, as well as their aromatic complexity if you're not serving them too cold. So I highly recommend that you, um, you take these out of the fridge for at least 15 or 20 minutes before serving to ensure that you're getting everything that you paid for. Enjoy the two wines and I'll see you again soon.